Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's upload is going to be a little bit different. We are starting to get into the fall, well not the fall months, but into the region or the time of the year where we could be, you know, begin our speculations about winter and fall. So, you know, today's video is going to be, as you can see right here, what impacts will a cool summer have on winter? 2019-2020. The title may not be exact to this title right here. Um, it'll probably be a little bit different, but you know, generally that's the idea. So right now, uh, they're you know they're forecasting a pretty cool summer for um, the central region of the United States. Um, so, see, I. I'm having a little bit of a dilemma because for some people it's gonna be cool, for some people it's not gonna be a cool summer. It's gonna be warm summer, but um, you know, I adjusted this area so that uh, the the research that I did in this uh, video was um, like the cool summer. You know, was uh, technically was only for the areas in the plains, Midwest, and parts of the southern states. But otherwise, um, I tried getting it the closest, you know, try getting it to the closest possible range as it will be this year, the historical analogs. Before we get further into this video, consider subscribing to this channel. Um, I know that over half of the people watching most of my videos are not subscribed, so like consider doing so. It really helps me out. You do not know how much I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And um, I would also like you to check out my Patreon page. I'm going to be more active on it. If you are a Patreon, I apologize. I haven't been inactive um it's been pretty hectic but now i will try, try to be a little bit more active during the summer months and winter and fall so let's just jump right into this um let's click so again just consider subscribing it looks like that click on it and also turn on the notification bell icon if you have not already so this is again the NOAA cpc climate prediction center outlook three month outlook so what they're saying here is again a cooler region for the central part of the country and again this video will be called a cool summer but um you know this is a, uh, only cool for the these states where it's below average while these parts of the countries are above average this part of the country is above average the west parts of the south and northeast and the east are warm so the cool only applies to a certain area and the analogs that i'll show you are uh, the closest i could find looking like this to this map looking like this so as you can see this is a three month temperature outlook i think yeah three month january um no, what am i saying june july and august so that's the summer months and you know the main summer months are st still continue into september and into um uh, that's basically when it continues into but those are the main summer months and you can see cooler that's the climate prediction channel this is the weather channel uh there's summer forecast for june through august so the same months you can see below average even a bigger area so technically a cool summer um that's what i think what i'll call it in this video even though i need to emphasize this will not possibly or not you know possibly be cool for everyone that's just not possible it will be warm for some mainly cool for a good chunk of the country but could definitely be still be warm for plenty of areas. So, um, you know, assuming our, <clears throat> assuming those predictions I showed you right now are going to be correct, and we are going to be seeing a cooler summer in that area of the country, um, this is, I found, you know, I went through every single year, May through August, and uh, all the way back to 1981, 1970s almost. So it was quite a bit of work, but I wanted to do it for you guys. And you can see this is May through August time frame. Um, in 2004, these are the years 2009, 2013, 2014. And those years compiled, you could see roughly a similar picture. I mean, the warm in the west, a little bit warmer in the northeast. Obviously, some of the years were um, different, all of the years we're different from each other so it's not going to be perfect representation of like this but uh it's close enough and uh and you know that's that's what that, that's what the years looked like so we'll sh I'll show you what the those years looked like for the winter time you could see um November to March and the reason it's 2005 a year ahead because it ends in March and that's what the analog year needs to end in um in March so uh November through March 2005 2010 the same time periods you know the, the summer before was this cooler um you can see the winter was also cool so will winter be cooler this year if the summer is cooler i don't know these are just from the past couple of years you know i would say the past 
20, yeah, around 20 years, a little bit less. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, maybe it's, it's fairly recent data. So it's, you know, the most accurate, but maybe there's not enough years. Maybe this was just a, a fluke of some sort. So I decided, you know, I was going to end it at this, but um, I decided to go on and fuck you and show you a couple more years, um, quite a bit more years. So again, this is uh, only extending from 1981 to 2010 uh, in terms of the average. So the average is marked by these years. And you can see that. Um, the, it's it's pretty substantial during the during the winter. I mean, negative two point five is in like the southeast. I mean, a good chunk of the east is cooler. And then uh, in the in this may seem extreme, but you know it's the same. It's just the the graph is a little bit less scale, and it's negative two. The same thing as negative two point five during the winter. So now let's go and show you some of the 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 other years that I found. So this is May through August again, um, summer this through the summer months, and you could see um, that there's many more years. Goes back all the way to 1981. So this is you know it it works because the average is from 1981. So and my last year is 1981. So it works out perfectly fine. And you could see how it's below average. Um, it, this may seem very below average, but if you look at the key, it's only 0. 0.6 degrees Celsius in terms of an anomaly, which is not really too significant. Um, for summer, it is, but in terms of, if you were talking about the winter months, it would be much more bigger. Like, let's look at this. You could see the dark purple is negative 2.5 Celsius. Here, it's just negative 0.6 Celsius, because during the summer, in order to get such a high anomaly, in order to get a negative 2.5 anomaly across such a big area, um, it would be, you know, ridiculously cold. This is the equivalent of the extreme of how cold it would be during the summer and how cold it would have to be to equivalent to a negative 2.5 difference in a winter. It would have to be a negative 0.6. So that's a little bit, you know, different. But you can see um, these years I compiled a bunch more. Some of them, no, not all of them were like this. Trust me, there was only a couple years that were really significant. I decided to take those in, but there's also a couple years that were, um, you know, cooler. But this was this is what averaged out to. I don't think that this year will be this cold. And now, uh, it's is it is it possible? Yes, but there are you know there are many years in here that are not like this. It's only a couple that skewed the um, the data this way. But you know it's that's that's how it is. Because I'm not going to add in any warm years because this summer is possibly not going to be warm. So you know what I mean? It's going to be a little bit um, obviously colder than it's it is actually will be so you can see this is what the winter months of those uh years those summers that's what they proceeded as these winters um you can see just the year ahead of every single one my first one was 1981 now it's 1982 and you can see the winter also stayed pretty chilly again um the the differences aren't as big negative 0 0.8 but it's still fairly significant i mean you can see up there across hudson bay bitter cold or very uh, big anomaly but then uh, down to the south not as much but still a substantial you know chillier temperature so uh you know there's a lot of interesting things that go into the factor of this and I just, you know, I just wanted to bring this up to you guys because, so, yes, based on this, a cooler summer, the summary of this basically, based on this, the summer, if it's cold or even slightly chilly, the winter has likely, more likely chance of being cooler than average. So that is, you know, that is a fascinating thing because I never really looked into how the summer has an impact on the winter, but apparently it does, and it's it's a fairly large one. So uh, we'll just, you know, I maybe we'll make more of these videos. So if you want me to make more of these videos and you're still watching this video, consider, uh, you know, telling me you want to see more of these videos because I I just might I I really might. These uh, I've never really done such early videos around, you know, for winter in June, but. Um, maybe it's, you know, it's something you'd like, so leave it in the comment box below if you want me to make more of these videos. And one more image I'd like to show you is, uh, just like one of the years, um, this is the most recent one that is so extreme. So this is 2004, May through August. Wait, I want to pause this video now because it's going over 10 minutes. And I think we're recording again now. Okay, so this is 2004, May through August, and you can see it was a fairly chilly, chilly summer. Especially, guys, look, I mean, 
negative 4 degrees Celsius. If you look at these averages from so many years, the reason why these years were only negative 0.8 because it's such a large amount of years as well. I mean, not only does it factor in the summer, because during the summer it's harder to get such a big anomaly. In the cold-wise, it's usually, you know, warmer. Uh, it's, that's such a great anomaly. But these, these, uh, this, there's so many years that these basically um, add up to not a lot of average difference, but this is still extreme on the same level as, say, negative 4 is over, but over so many years. I mean, this is just one year, so negative 4 degrees isn't much up to make hard, not, not much to make up. But you could see, um, also very chilly, you know, very chilly summer it was in May through August 2004. What I did realize when I was doing the, uh, the research the data, uh, interesting fan fact that I found is that a lot of the summers across 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008 were very, very warm. And uh, those those summers were, I mean, they were ridiculously warm. So that was something interesting that I, I, I didn't remember when I was a kid because I was still really little. But that must have been a... Uh, a pretty, how would I say this, a pretty, you know, a pretty annoying part about summer if it was that hot. But, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just going on a rant right now, but uh, this video was supposed to end already quite a while ago, so thank you guys so much for watching, consider subscribing, consider liking the video, and I will catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya, bye.